Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well and in this video we got some exciting things to show you. But first of all, let's congratulate May giveaway to Deborah Kebasa and please Debbie, if you're watching this video, contact me on my uh, email. Uh, DIY number one. I'm gonna show you how to create a shabby chic wreath with a shelf liner metal wreath so what are we doing is we cut off the shelf liner on half and we got six sections so in each section we're gonna need one shelf liner split on half so what I'm doing now is basically I'm creating a ruffle between uh, those wires I'm using the second wire first and I'm trying to finish all the liner that I have just like that you just roll it and you just make a beautiful ruffle I gotta give a credit to hardworking mom I'm gonna post her channel on my description uh, based on her video I did this uh, read I found very interesting making a wreath out of these shelf liners and uh, it's super easy and um, I'm going to be making more of this wreath in the near future as well. When each section is done, I'm adding a zip tie on each corner so we're gonna have two zip ties on each of those sections now I'm doing the second row same process making ruffles going through the line second line wire just like that So now when my wreath is done, I'm making a bow. I got these beautiful lace ribbons and a velvet with pearl ribbons. I bought them on sale from uh, Joanne and um, Hobby Lobby when it was like 70 to 90%. They're not wired, so that's why I'm using this bow maker so I can make uh, nice bows. So now, when the bow is done, I'm going to try to find a space on the wreath. And I also am adding this cathedral sign that I made in my previous videos. And on top of my bow, I also going to add a totally um, dazzled jewel. 
to complete the look and also at the end I'm adding a ribbon as a handle. This quick DIY number two is a Y2K fashion Van Dutch design on my daughter's jeans. I already printed out those sheets on a transfer sheet and I cut them piece by piece. It took me forever to cut it off and now I'm just transferring them with the iron. And they look super cute and she really like it. We're going to be making more design um, pieces like this in the near future. Now we're moving to the DIY number three, which is my favorite and it took me forever to do it. So I had this wooden box forever and I was trying to find a cover for a long time and I couldn't find it. First, I wanted to make a half a circle cover, but since I don't have... Uh, proper tools for wood I just bought those wooden sticks and I measured them and I cut them on four pieces so I can make a nice cover for it so what I'm doing now after I measured them and cut them I'm just uh, gluing those uh, wooden sticks and here you go the cover for this wooden box is done also I'm using this one of these hinges so we can easily open the box after that, you all know from my previous video, I'm making a flowers with a air dry clay and this flower mold for my box. When all that is done, I'm ready to uh, make a design on my box. And I also have those uh, 3D stickers that I got them on sale. I have them for a long time. I think I bought them from Hobby Lobby. So now, basically, I'm just making a creation. I'm just, whatever I feel like it's going to look cute, I'm adding it in a box. I'm gluing the flowers on each side as well, just to see where they're going to look cute. So now when everything is nice and glue, let's play with the paint. First, I started with the blue paint, but it didn't cover all that. I wanted to cover first. So I changed my mind. I took out my chalk paint, ivory, and I'm painting it all over first. When all that is painted, now I'm adding the blue color. I'm just applying on it, just like so, all over. And I'm going to apply it on all sides. done with the blue paint I'm adding some soft pink paint now and then after that yellow and then at the end the mocha color just the air airbrush so we can see the designs of all these 3d flowers and stickers Next, on the two corners, we're going to add this lace piece 
that we got from Dollar Tree. I just cut it off just to measure it. And in the middle, we're going to put a totally dazzled jewel. For handle, for this box, we're going to use this shabby chic ribbon and we're going to make a bow and each time we want to use the box, we're going to open it and then we're going to tie it again. Inside, I cover it with this nice black and white cover from Dollar. To complete the look, I'm adding these flowers with a feather and a key. Here is the final look. I really, really like it. I hope you guys enjoy watching me creating all these nice shabby chic creations. Once again, uh, congratulations to Deborah Bassa for the May giveaway. Please contact me at cjdiy1 at outlook.com so I can send you the package. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, guys.